and welcome to your yoga practice. Today we're going to do some core work inspired by bugs, especially those bugs that get caught on their backs. So all of these moves are a version of dead bug. Let's get on our backs. There's a cat right there. Oh, all right. And then reach your arms and legs up to the sky and then bend your legs. So you want 90 degree angle flexion in your hips and then the same in your knees and ankles and really press your lower back on the mat like there's a squishy for a piece of paper or a hundred dollar bill that you don't want me to take. So really press that lower back into the mat the whole time. Reach your arms up if they're not already there. All right. Oh, and on an inhale, we're going to lower right hand and left leg straight. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lengthen, so you're switching legs. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, back. So keep on going at your own pace with your breath. Inhales, lower the arm and the leg. Exhales, bring them back up. Trying to retain the 90 degree angle trying to keep your lower back on the mat. Slower is harder. Trying to keep those knees stuck over the hips. I know you want to bring them closer. I do too. And I do a lot. Try not. It takes a lot of discipline. Keep going. I know you feel your core. I know you feel it. All right. Wrap up this set. And then press your right hand and your left thigh together. And then lower left hand, right leg. Bring it back up. Lower. Bring it back up. So really press leg and hand together. You know, this is a lot. You're doing so good. And feel free to take little breaks, take a few breaths, and then come back. Always coming back. Nice and slow. You know, you're feeling it in your core a lot. A lot, a lot. Let's do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Opposite side. So left hand, right knee. Right hand goes up. Inhale to lower arm and leg. Exhale, bring them back up. All right. Keep that going, really pressing hand into knee. Still press lower back against the mat. After this set, we'll take a little break and then we'll do one more thing. Maybe. And hold me to that. You're doing awesome, keep going. And then three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Plant your feet down, arms by your side, come into a bridge pose. All right, just checking in with that core, getting the back body now. Hmm. And we'll do it straight arm and leg next. All right, lower down. Arms and legs up. Flex your feet. Try to keep that lower back down. All right, right arm, left leg. Bring them up. Left arm, right leg. Inhale. Exhale, bring them up. And try to go slow. Try to keep the heels stacked over the hips, trying to keep lower back on the mat. And this might feel easier, it might feel harder. Sometimes I get confused on the side, there we go. <laughs> so it's opposite arm and leg lowering down. And so this is really good for brain health too, because we're going across the body. So we're doing opposite hand and opposite leg. It's actually really good for your brain 
to switch and to keep track of it. So working brain and core at the same time. So good. Let's do one more each side. Hug your knees into your chest. And then we'll do one more dead bug thing. Reach your arms and legs. And then no one's watching, right? So just like wiggle out your arms and legs. Be a true dead bug cut on your back. Wiggle it all out and then splat. Breathing into your core. Maybe you press your hands on your belly. Breathing into the work you just did. And then hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll. Come up to a seat. All right. So you just did about five minutes of really good core work inspired by bugs. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed and that you have the most beautiful day. Bye.